Hello guys, welcome to my channel How to Learn. Today in this video, I want to discuss about topic Spring Boot with Swagger. First of all, what is Swagger? Swagger is an API specification for documentation in web service. Using Swagger, it becomes very easy to understand RESTful web service methods for a client. And because using Swagger UI will get all the information of web service method with description about what the method do. Okay. And we can also test web services, web services method from Swagger UI. Okay. You may ask me, we have Postman for testing that the web service method, but why we are using Swagger UI? Okay. I will explain your sample scenario as assume like there is a project X. Okay. There are 10 employees working working in it and they have they have assigned with a project to be completed. In the project, there are 10 modules. Okay. Now every employee is, is working on one module. But at the last moment, unexpectedly, an employee resigned from the company. And now the total number of employees are only nine. No problem, they have hired a new employee. Okay, but he was given a module and they asked him to develop it as it is pending and assume like the previous employee developed two controllers the sorry 10 controllers in every controller there are 10 methods okay now you should understand 100 methods of code if you want to go through the just only eclipse he can't do it okay suppose there is swagger ui then our all controller will be displayed on Swagger UI. If you click on one controller, all the methods in the controller will be displayed. Like that, it will take very low time to him for understanding the code and uh, I mean like for understanding how many methods and how many controllers there are there in the module. I'm not seeing up the code, but he can easily understand the module. Okay, like that, it is very easy for testing and also. Okay, I think you guys got it. And guys, dependencies we want to use in this project or I mean for Swagger UI are these dependencies Spring Fox Swagger 2 and Spring Fox Swagger UI. Okay. And guys, I have already developed web service which is demo and I want to attach a Swagger UI to it. Okay, how I can do it? First of all, I want to inject dependencies into it. I have already copied these dependencies and just I want to paste them here. Okay, just paste it. Okay, if you observe it is updating. Before that, I want to create a package for Swagger. Yep, let's create a project. Sorry, let's create a package for Swagger. Com dot demo dot Swagger. Okay, my package is created and my project is updated and I want to create a class here which is Swagger config. Okay, now my class is also created. First of all, I don't want to configure it. What I want to do is like this, I want to use this annotation. Okay. For enabling Swagger, we want to use this annotation. Yep. Guys, let's run this application once. Let's see what happens. First of all, I'm running this application and okay guys, it is launching. Yep, it's launched and let's go to our local host. Yep. It's loading guys. If you observe, you can't see any controllers in it. Okay. I think I have changed the port number here. Let's see. What is the port number? 8081. Okay. Yep. Guys, if you observe, you can't observe any controllers. Because I have not given any configuration. I just declared that enable com swagger okay my swagger is enabled but there is no configuration means you can't see any controllers or any methods in the controllers like that okay and 
I think you now you guys got it. This annotation is for uh, enabling Swagger. Okay, for custom implementation, we need to create a method with return type dockets. Okay, now I want to create a method here, and first of all, I want to give a annotation here. Direct configuration as I am configuring this Swagger. Let's import it and public as I said my return type to be docket I am naming a my method name post api okay and first of all let's import this docket guys let's use the annotation here which is bean okay and I want to return a new docket return new docket of documentation type type dot I want my swagger documentation type to be swagger dot select dot apis request handler selector dot guys first of all let's import it okay i think so i have done a mistake yes it is selectors guys sorry for this and <laughs> okay and we have different type of selectors actually i'm selecting any okay and after this there's mention as build okay semicolon let's save this once and guys if you observe it is refreshing and let's go to our swag let's refresh it let's see what happens if you guys observe I am having some controllers, demo, unemployed, and basic error controller. Okay. If you observe before, I don't have these kinds of controllers here. If you observe controllers in my web services, web service are doc, demo controller and employee controller. Okay. And these are displayed here. You may ask me what is this basic error controller guys normally what i have done means i have not selected any package here actually yep if i want only the package i mean the controller to be displayed which are in my web service i want to take my base package and i want to mention my base package name here what is my base package name com.example.demo okay and it is my base package name if you observe here it is my base package name and just by mentioning it let's run my application again let's see what happens yep if you observe i got only the controller which are in my web service okay guys now i will explain about this yep if you observe actually i am using an api mess api's method which is for selection of our request handler request handlers are nothing but our controllers it can be any none or base package if you observe at first i have selected any then i got some basic controller attached to it and now i have selected base package okay and what is the select it returns api select builder that is used to control endpoints okay and what is this build after configuration we need to build the selector using the build methods in this what i have not used till now i not used the path methods and api info method what will be this path method do this path method is to allow selection of path using predicate okay and this api info it will tell about the, our api okay it will give some custom meta information now I will show you how to get this API and all. Okay, suppose I want to 
mention my api dot info here api info dot and guys i want to create a method here okay which specify about my api sorry it's a private method and a private api info it is my return type and my method name is api info where i want to return let's import it guys and return new api info builder dodge I think I have done some mistake here. Yes, I want to just import it. And I want to do my title it should say demos swagger. Okay. And I want to bullet. it. Yes, I want to return my method here. Where I want to give it here. Let's save this. Guys, now if you observe my swagger, just I'm refreshing it. Okay, if you observe, there is no description before, but now we have some. Sorry, we don't have any title before. Now we have some title here. Guys, not only a title, we can also give it a description, terms of conditions, and the license URLs also. Wait, I will show you. So I want to give some description for it. Yep, demo swagger from loud to learn. Okay, guys, this I want to save it now. Let's refresh our application once. Job, job. I have a description for this swagger. Okay, now I have title and description. Okay, like this, we'll use this API info. Okay, and uh, and I want to give some path selectors. Just here I am using a default path selectors only. Yep, I will give you dodge paths of path selectors dodge any. Okay, guys. Guys, one thing I just up to know, I never use an operation, I mean, I never performed any operation using Swagger. But now I want to perform an once operation. Guys, I have a guesting method in my demo controller. This I want to try. Let's click on try it. Let's see what happened. It returned a string. Okay, let's see whether it is written in the same string or not. Hey, it is written in the same string. Okay, no problem. Now I want to save my data using Swagger. Okay. First of all, let's see what the table name and what the DB where we are showing our data. It is Spring Boot DB. And our table name is employee. Okay. Yep. Select asterisk from employee. Let's see whether there is any data from here or not. Okay, guys, if you observe, there is no data here. Now I want to insert data using Swagger. Okay, let's insert our data using Swagger. Okay, post. Hey, guys, if you observe, it is also showing the variables here. Okay, it's the very best thing. I want to give my city like Hadwage and my. Employee name is Anil. My ID is one. Okay. Let's click on try it out. Yep. Let's see what happens. Whether our data will be saved or not. I got the response code is 200. Okay. I got my data is written. I think so it is saved. But I want to check it once. Okay. Let's check our data is saved or not. Hey guys. My data is saved now. Now I want to perform get operation. Okay, let's get our data. Okay, let's click on try it out. Hey, 
I am getting my data now. Now I want to delete my data. Okay. Yes. Let's click on try it out. It's saying that my data is deleted successfully. Let's check it in workbench. Okay, let's click on run. Hey, my data is disappear. Means I can perform all operations successfully. I think you guys got it now. I think you guys now have a good understanding of Swagger. And guys, if you have any queries, please comment it in comment section. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe my channel.